My name is Pat Hines and I'm the founder and executive director of Safe Moves and we teach bicycle safety education all around California. Today we're here at Loyola Elementary School at a bike rodeo funded by the Los Altos Police Department. We're here to help parents understand how important education is to their kids when they're enjoying bike riding as a form of transportation to school or just a, fun, a family fun activity. But we really do believe that bicycling can be incredibly dangerous if kids don't know the rules of the road. So our idea is to explain to kids that they have the same responsibility as drivers do when they're riding on the street. That traffic signs they have to be paid attention to, riding on the right is really important, wearing a helmet always, but also the most important thing is to make eye contact with drivers. So many of us as drivers don't even see kids who are not looking and so many kids who are riding their bicycles don't see the car. So it's really important that parents join together with their local school and Los, An uh, Los Altos Police Department to make sure that bike safety is a safe, fun, enjoyable activity. I'm Officer Brent Butler with Los Altos Police Department. I've been with the city uh, for 28 years and needless to say I've seen a lot of bicycle accidents involving kids and adults. So first off what I want to explain to you is when you uh, go to put on a helmet, the important part of the helmet is going to be the strap that goes underneath your chin. A lot of the times I see children and adults riding around town with the strap attached and then what happens is this is way too loose and so when you go and fall off of a bike or when you're um, on standing on the side of your bike and you fall the helmet will either come off this way or this way and so it's important to have it tightened up because if sometimes I'll see a lot of kids riding around like this with it outstrapped and if you're going to be taking the time to wear a helmet and you fall off it's going to go off and fall off onto the ground and then what's going to happen is your head's going to hit so that is the whole point of this, is to prevent a head, head injury. So if it's properly attached, fastened, some of them have little uh, quick dials on the back of them, which will then tighten it up for you. So you can turn it to the right for it being tight or loosen it up. So a lot of the helmets have that. If not, there's gonna be a strap here that you can tighten and loosen. So make sure when you put on your helmet, it's not too tight, but enough to have two fingers underneath. So once you have your helmet properly fastened, the next important part is gonna be wearing bright clothing. So when you get on a bike, you wanna be seen by vehicles, people who are driving, and um, making sure that if you're at nighttime, you have good reflective uh, clothing on. So when the headlights hit you, uh, you're gonna be visible. A lot of the uh, vehicle drivers do not see bicyclists. So you gotta be a very defensive driver. And so when you're riding at night or in the day, it's very important too, is to have your little uh, light on so people can see. And so that is very important because when people are looking in the rear view mirrors, looking to the right, and if it's flashing, you're gonna be able to be a lot more seen. The other is wearing bright visible clothing at night or in the day. When you're riding along, you're gonna see the neon green. You're gonna see the bright pink. You're gonna see white over wearing the black clothing. That makes you more visible for safety. Extremely important. The other thing I'm seeing a lot of junior high kids and high school kids is riding to school wearing their backpacks. And when they have a backpack on, it's a lot of weight. So when you go to get on a bicycle and you're riding along and you're wearing a backpack, if you go to turn your body, the backpack's gonna shift. And a lot of the straps may not be tightened around your shoulders properly. And so when you have all that weight, probably 50, 40 pounds, it's gonna shift your weight and it's gonna cause you to lose your balance and fall over. The other real important thing too is to either have a bag on the back to carry your backpacks um, or a, a basket in order to carry some of your items. Sometimes if it's uh, really cold in the morning, you're gonna be wearing a sweatshirt and uh, when you get out at school in the afternoon, it's gonna be really warm. So a lot of the kids I will see and have taken accidents where a child will have a sweatshirt tied, tied around their shoulders. We had one accident where the uh, 
sweatshirt in the back came loose and as the student was riding his bicycle it came loose from his shoulders and it started to fall as he went to go grab it he turned his wheel to prevent it from landing on the ground and he ended up running into a side of a car that was also driving in the same direction as him so that was uh, one of the causes of the accidents so make sure one your helmet is fastened properly make sure two you have bright clothing on so you can be seen during the day or the night and three make sure your equipment on your bike backpack is properly fastened not too heavy if it is too heavy carry it on the back of your bicycle that way it's nice and center and that way your bike doesn't shift when you're taking turns or uh, riding to and from school thank you very much take consideration of all these safety issues when you ride a bike because safety is the utmost importance thank you I'm Officer Kevin Vitarella with the Los Altos Police Department. Been on for about five years now. I'm part of the traffic unit. I ride motorcycles and bicycles. I'm going to talk to you guys today about uh, some sizing uh, issues I'm seeing with kids with their bikes. Um, so as far as sizing goes, the, the, the seat really shouldn't go above your hip. And there's a couple reasons we'll get into that later. Um, the frame of the bike itself is also big for sizing. You should be able to step over your bicycle and stand with both feet touching the ground. Um, as far as the seat height goes, I said probably shouldn't be any more of the hip. When you sit on your bicycle, you should be able to still have one foot planted firmly on the ground for balance. Um, as you pedal the bicycle, if your seat is uh, set too low, you won't be able to extend your legs uh, far down enough to get the pedal, the, the power to pedal up, up hills. And if the seat is set too high, again, you won't be able to push the pedals down um, far enough to uh, propel your bicycle forward. Um, before you start riding your bike, before you leave home in the morning, or at least once a week, you should always go over your bicycle. Um, you don't need to be a mechanic. If there's something that you cannot fix, I suggest taking it to a bike shop instead of trying to do it yourself. But simple checks your bicycles is first of all, checking to make sure your tires have appropriate air. If you can squeeze them, they're too low on air. Check the rear tire, check the front tire. Um, check them to make sure they don't wobble. If they wobble, that means something's loose and that could also be dangerous. Same with the rear, wobble that to make sure it's loose. Check to make sure your seat isn't going to move while you ride. Uh, check to make sure your handlebars or headset aren't loose. Um, this just helps uh, the bike not failing while you're riding. Uh, which brings up a good point of while you're riding, after you've done your check, uh, another big safety issue we're seeing here is kids right, and adults riding with headphones in their ears. That's very dangerous because you can't hear if your bike is malfunctioning. Typically, if your bike does malfunction, you'll start hearing a noise that's abnormal to its usual noises. Also, you won't be able to hear vehicles approaching, other bicyclists approaching, or uh, pedestrians as well. I'm Sergeant Liz Checky with the Los Altos Police Department. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about bike safety. Uh, one of the most important things is people need to realize that if they're riding a bicycle, it's the same as driving a car. So you have a lot of responsibility. 
A bicycle is considered the same as a vehicle in the state of California. Uh, that being said, uh, there's a few rules to follow that keep everybody safe. Uh, riding on the right hand side of the road is extremely important because that's where drivers are going to expect to see you. If you stay on the right hand side of the road, uh, you're able to see the traffic ahead of you and stay with the flow of traffic. The next thing would be to ride in a single file line. An important thing behind that is that you don't want to be riding side by side with somebody. Maybe they have less skills, maybe they have more skills, but if that person falls, there's going to be a collision. So it's important to ride single file line and to communicate to your friends behind you if there's different debris or obstacles in the roadway, such as a rock. You can simply point down at the rock to your friend, that way they know that there might be a hazard on your right hand side. Uh, as far as uh, obeying signals and stop signs as well as roadway markings that is hugely important and a big responsibility uh, when you're navigating the roadways on a bicycle you need to obey all signals and traffic uh, signs as well as roadway markings to keep yourself safe and to communicate with other drivers in doing so you approach a red light you come to a complete stop the green light will then indicate to you that it's time to go uh, as far as a stop sign, you need to come to a stop, you need to look to your left, you need to look to your right, and you need to look to your left again. If you see that there's a vehicle there, it's imperative for you to make eye contact with that driver so that there is a clear understanding of who is going to move next in the rotation of vehicles. Um, at this point, I hope that some of these safety tips help keep you and your friends riding safely in Los Altos.